Today I'm in New Buffalo testing out the Rev2, which is a new Revolution head from Kessler. In this video, I want to give you a preview of some of the changes they've made to this head, as well as show you one configuration that I'll be doing for an upcoming short, utilizing the low profile design of this head to help capture the shot. Originally, when Kessler developed version 1 of this product, it was to be used in the underslung position on cranes. However, with the ability to use this head for shooting a time lapse, people started to use it in the overslung position. In this position, the center of gravity is higher. This forces you to make sure your base is secure before shooting because with any setup, the higher your center of gravity is, the more unstable it is. In order to make the head more suitable for shooting in the overslung position, Kessler made a few modifications. The first thing they changed was motor position. They took the pan-axis motors and inverted them. By doing that, they were able to lower this base mounting plate uh, by three and three quarter inches to one and three quarter inches. Now, if you're wanting it even lower than that, you can pull these cables out, remove these standoffs, and make this height here a quarter inch. So you can make, mount this base plate directly to the head. first thing you need to do to switch this configuration from one and three quarter inches to a quarter inch is remove these four screws on the bottom. Now the next thing you'll want to do is take out the four screws on the bottom of here. And once you've removed the four screws, you've then removed the standoff. Now what you want to do with this base plate, uh, when this was mounted to uh, the standoffs here, these uh, holes were facing the bottom. However, when you want to attach it to the, the actual head, you want to make sure you flip that, the plate over the other direction and then line it up with the holes. And then use the four screws you just took off of the standoff and screw the plate down onto the head. you've now configured the Rev2 in the quarter inch configuration. So now this here, you've cut off another inch and a half by removing this standoff. Another modification they made to this system was an adjustable tilt arm. By doing this, they were able to lower the head by four inches. Now there's five different heights you can choose between using the available lock pockets. To adjust, simply loosen the screw and fine tune to the height you desire. In its lowest configuration, this head is eight inches shorter than version one, which is about half its height. However, if you are needing access to the original size of the Revolution head, simply loosen the screw and extend it to its full length. If you're shooting with like a longer lens or map box, you may need to bring it to this higher height to gain access to its full movement. One great feature of the system as well is the ability to choose between a 500 and 1000 series motor. Originally, version one would ship with the 500 series, which is a great all around motor, but if you're doing a lot of long lens or time-lapse shooting, you might want to consider the 1000 series motor because you can do a little more precise moves. Now the biggest difference between the 500 and 1000 series motor is that the 1000 series motor is half the speed of the 500 but has twice the amount of torque. If you're doing, so if you're doing again a lot of precise shooting, you might want to consider the 1000 series. But if you're shooting live events, you probably want to stick with the 500 series.
are a few different mounting options. The first is the Kessler Quick Release System. I definitely recommend going that route because then you can easily switch between setups. To remove, simply open and pop off the revolution head. And to drop it back into place, simply drop it into the plate and lock it down. However, if you don't want to use the Kessler Quick Release System, you can use the screws that were provided with the head to attach to either a slider or a crane. To attach it to a slider, you're going to want to use the four screws that are currently holding the revolution head to the quick release plate and screw that directly down onto the carts of your slider. However, if you're using it with uh, the KC Complete, you're going to want to use the four bolts that were provided with wing nuts. Now, another option you can use to mount the revolution head is a ball nut. So, what you would do is drop this bolt through the center base plate and then screw it down onto the head. Once you have that attached, then you can mount the revolution head to anything that has a bowl mount. What I want to do now is rig up the Revolution head in the back of the car so I can do a 360 degree drive lapse through downtown Chicago. So I'm going to take the head, pop it off of the tripod, and I've already got a tripod rigged up in the back of my car, and drop it down. Now what I've done to rig this up here is taken a couple ropes and lashed it down to the car and you'll see there's very little movement. So the last thing I want to do is leave you with a few different shots showing you kind of how I rigged it up in time-lapse format and then uh, leave you with the final 360-degree drive-lapse through downtown Chicago. Okay. 